Hi, welcome back. So in the last video we created the single post pages by uh, creating the single post uh, template file and using this template in our Gatsby node config file to generate a page for each post. By uh, And then before we did that we actually generated uh, slugs automatically by checking if this node that we're tra we're in currently is a markdown file, which means in our case is a post, then generate automatically a slug from the title of that post. So in this uh, video, we're actually going to be refactoring some of our code, uh, because it's good to refactor as you go and so that you will have to clean your code as you go, because I found uh, from experience, if you leave all the refactor until the end, you might break something or it might be actually too much work that you didn't uh, foresee. So if we look at our um, index page and our, where is it, our template, we found that we, in both these pages, we're using the layout and of course we're using layout, but we're using this um, column MD8 and, and we're using this column 4 to put the sidebar and uh, that's not uh, th that's not dry code, so we're repeating ourselves. So let's remove that actually. So I start with the index page and we want to have only the new piece of information here. So we're just going to leave the, the query and we're going to go to, actually let me make, maximize this, go to the layout and here we need to bring in the row and column from React Strap. And in here, let's remove children for now. And let's put uh, let's put our row. So row and inside of that we have two columns, so call times two. And the first one will snap at a medium screen size as usual, eight, and the second is MD4. And in here is where we're going to have our children, which come, which is what, again, what comes inside of the layouts tag. And in here we're going to have our sidebar. And let's bring that in. Actually, I'm going to put some space between those. Port sidebar from sidebar. Let's remove one space. And this should be good for now. And in index file we have our title. And let's change the title actually to the name of the website, which is code blog, code blog. And uh, yeah, this should be fine. Let's save all files and it should compile. And it does. Uh, the warnings are these unused variables or imports. So let's look at our application and yeah, we broke the single post page. Uh, there's this weird behavior here because our title is actually inside of the column 8. I don't know why I grabbed that. <laughs> so it's not actually outside of the whole row, which it should be. And that will be done by... We need this title to be here, somewhere here, outside of the row. So the title should go here, but the problem is that our layout is not aware of what um, component is being rendered inside of children. So we can do that by, uh, first of all, let's remove this header, and we can do that by passing page title, or we'll call it page title. So this is the index, so it's got a static title all the time, which is code blog. So we pass this to the layout, and now let's make this layout take that. So page title, which by the way will be inside of props, so that will be like that actually. But since we're using destructuring here, we're just gonna uh, uh, extract that out of uh, props, uh, like we do with children as well. So here we put in our header one, we just put page title here, and this should fix the title on the index page. And yeah, it does. So our title is now outside of the row. Now let's fix the uh, single post uh, page because it's kind of a mess. <laughs> so we can simply do that by going here, doing the same, removing this column and row and the header as well. And let's remove up to here. We just leave the card tag and let's pass page title. 
and this will be post dot title and let's check it out okay there we go it's fixed so let's remove the unnecessary imports which are producing these warnings and save and these warnings should be gone and they are uh, let's fix the other pages so here again the header we're gonna fill these pages soon uh, page title um, our team and this doesn't say anything for now uh, the tags page oops tags page will have a page title of um, all topics I guess all tags doesn't really matter that much right now um, the about page will have a page title of um, about us and I'm not gonna put anything here let's just put some text some lorem I'll do a lorem and 50 50 words so you can just do lorem 40 and press tab and we'll generate that and let's actually let's change as well the 404 page which will have a title page title of uh, not found and it's gonna say actually this is the title so let's just say oops something went wrong or two dots and let's put a button here that will allow users to go back to the uh, home page so this will go to just slash and actually let's make it a bootstrap button so class name btn btn primary and it will say go home <coughs> excuse me let's give that a text uppercase class and we've got an error because we have an imported link so let's do that import link <coughs> from Gatsby and let's save and let's check out our pages so we got yeah so the title is in the middle perfect and we got our posts everywhere our sidebar everywhere and if we go to like a, just a random you know URL but because we're in development mode we see this page but in in an actual deployed Gatsby app we'll see this page so we have our button here and if we click it we go home so yeah uh, oops yeah let, let me go you can style this if you want I, I'm not gonna bother for now I don't want to waste time on that uh, I think this is it with refactoring um, so in the next video we're gonna be adding uh, author details in the single post uh, page right here we're gonna have author details including image and bio and all that good stuff so look forward to that thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one cheers